The fact that all right, let's, so uh, sound on a map like let's this. see what MIB I'll have for this. For, honestly, it feels like forever. They've always yeah. been good at Icebox. Yeah, I yeah. remember playing against them when it was the Chamber Sage meta, and they were still really good at it. So, yeah, MIBR may be busting out a different uh, King Waste, like thank you so much, man. Appreciate the eight months. Fail, thank you, thank you with the tier one, bro. Appreciate that. We got four we'll ghosts on the against side. three classics armor. And, and we ain't doing anything too aggro on the defense. Just one gets hit by the knife, that's it. Against Leviathan and what a banger of a map that was, but yeah. they, they this is a very similar to how they like to set up. Yeah, yeah. Instead of the harbor being here at A though, he's playing in the middle Chat, of the map. It's a little bit quiet, MJ right? Or am I just let me turn up slightly? The sage bomb plant on the A site. So already trying to predict. Yeah, it should be a little bit better. Go A on the on the pistol round. I got the spike. But it seems like it might be a lean B. Yeah. FRZ has already taken a little bit of space, creeping forward. Imagine he will be an important variable later on as the round continues. But for now, they've been so quiet about this trade. They haven't made a single lick of noise. Yeah, they haven't dude, yeah really nothing's happened really. We've inside one over towards A, four person over towards B, ready to pop. The and then obviously the they go. can go back if they need Disney to. We have a luck on that go. And does this turret get out of range? They want to fight back sight. They want to fight snowman. The eight, this is the seven person jaw that snowman. We've got to keep an eye on the killjoy. Uh, the turret gets taken back. Killjoy is on the biggest blank. And honestly, oh boy, it didn't look great on the mini map. I'm glad we tuned into him a little bit later. Trouble can he cause? A late lurk around mid, and the repositioning might have been his death. FRZ alone here with 51 HP. Yeah, that's unlucky. I mean, nice shots, but that's a round done. Yeah, got a... This guy in the back here just kind of whiffed a little bit from what I could tell. I don't know how late we tuned into it, but I, I saw him shooting the side for a while on the mini-map, and then they turned. Yeah, and, and these three just didn't get anything. Yeah, there we go. That's, we missed the beginning bit, right? Against G2, but in the opposite way. So it was really well played by G2 Leaf just getting out of there with Jonah P and just having a four man basically just straight line on everybody that would push snowman. Uh, 30 Fed Lost Road, thank you for the 14 months, man. Appreciate the tier one. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate the support, man. Okay, let's look at what we do. We get the plant down, so we get one sheriff. We look over towards here, and everyone's buying. We got the two stingers. So, no deaths would be the best outcome for G2, as always. Every kill for MIBR and Matters. And we start by playing yellow, where they can just pick up one of the guns. And out of all of the guns, it's the Bulldog. Well, don't love it. He's been struggling in, in this stage specifically, but yeah. his team has been able to bring him back. He just needs a little bit more time in this match to warm up. It would appear. But that's a big gun to get. I mean, a Bulldog in the hands of... Artisan, who's supposed to be the spark for this lovely spot. Molly forces the man to the open too. and then do they drop wall jewel this guy back site and this is good at the moment for MBR damn bro he's killing everyone and they're both one shot obviously stinger stinger but it is this guy he does have a molly though so if Leaf doesn't press the issue and just tries to tap bomb, RGL does have a chance, but as I say that. First couple of shots go wide. You see the utility go down. Trying to bait out the Molly. It hasn't been committed yet. Still has it, finally. Uh -oh. Missed it, but it missed. It went wide uh -oh. right. He's Whoa. Stick to the Damn, dude. It's just straight up stuck it in front of him. Ice cold. It doesn't even take the jewel at the end. I'm pretty sure he just picked up the outlaw. For his team, 1v2, and he was a big factor in their win on this map against Lev. Yeah, he was nuts. I mean, he had like almost 30 or something, I think, at the end. And it's because of stuff like this, his ability to clutch, close rounds out for his team. But that was really, really costly. And MIBR did a great job. Wow. Getting that bulldog to get value. Yeah, what can you do, man? They got one gun. And you got two more kills off of that. So Let's see the TMV really video. Yeah, I saw the TMV video. I think he's on some good points. The, 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 it's like situational. I think uh, I think that's fairly fair. 
the effects of that killback yellow being felt mm -hmm. into the next. Okay, bonus. Not looking great, but it is a bonus. So that's a that's a good sign, chat. That's a good sign. As much as I didn't massively like the setup from the round before, we just focus purely on the third round. I'm enjoying this for G2. Oh, I love, love this round as well. Over towards middle, Cove to get out. I think that's the wise choice there. It's not worth dying over here. Yeah. Vandal would be nice, but you're already up 5v4. Trent has full as well, creates a lot Same of pressure here, so they still might have to duel this for a little bit. Turret's down in terms of Killjoy dying, so the pressure of him just doing this anyway means you can fast flank. And you would be more expected to on a bonus because you can kind of take a risk. You've got a one person push, Jonah P in the biggest off angle in his life. And do they heavy rotate? Heavy rotate, two people walk in. Killjoy sticks around, util still in. We've got to keep an eye on Trent as well. Trent might have a big kill at spawn. This could be a uh, sheriff down. Um, 20 seconds right wingman dead yeah and this guy kind of needs to get involved which means that damn bro g2 are playing this well did i just completely own them why did, <laughs> why did they some of them not play time together the guy in heaven tried to trade him out oh man that's my fault i think i'll take it but like why why G2 almost had that. Why did they? Why did they try trade just, instead of play the five seconds? In that area, maybe fall back, waited for his teammate a little bit. It would have been perfect timing. Maybe yeah, the guy, the, the guy rafters. They, they kind of no, failed at the final hurdle here. It was like really sick. So yeah, and then second, that that duel there, I see doesn't need second, to do that, man. Yeah, you just play time here, no matter what. So just, just run it when he plants for four seconds. Inexperience. <laughs> showing right now but i i would say nothing to be worried about for g2 you got four guns out there oh it was a great round Eagles yeah don't get me wrong it was a sick overall round. round and they so, showed cool ideas to trap play mid yeah knowing that they were um okay massive swing though. round we got yeah. one guy that can buy next right two two guys. two guys two guys that can buy next big buy round people reset in terms of econ and arts in has teams use their all goes up towards a and then they'll just give it okay and when they play like this, it kind of allows them <laughs> to a little bit bold, have so the upper hand and the read on With that, teams Trent like has all. And that's why oftentimes you'll see them have three, four players at a site. Trent got his ult online there. Jonah P. Nice. Still playing back site. Hasn't given up any space. And he's got Balan here close by. The spike and not planted yet. Spike's down in the open and they got to wait for the is, wall to do like a well recovery here. mission. They still have Sage Wolves, so they can still the easy wall. get a plant. And then the orb's gonna come up right yeah, this is a nice wolf from Valon, though. This gonna uh, delay him a little bit. Something happens across the middle of the map. This feels out of reach. This right. feels difficult. And a turret is just posted. And the longer they wait, the more likely Trent is to just have a good all. I see he's not ready for it. There's the middle of the map pressure that we were talking about. FRZ with two. Artin getting the spike down. Oh, goes down. And Jonah like P. Go for more. Trent invests the ult. Man. Realizing I see he's having a rough one, bro. All of a sudden, things have gone so sideways. I don't know how G2 are going to get back into this one. You imagine it have to be off of. Ooh. I mean, that'll help. That'll really help. Damn. RGL. And Big 2v2. Again, whoever loses has to eco. Trying to dance around back yellow as the spike ticks away. Time ever elusive. Not no on their way. side here. One Leaf would have to pull off a miracle and he's done it before. Can he do it again? Um, I see done from MIBR here. MIBR yeah, I mean the luck second. just did so much. So good of MIBR to just stall right there, not let anybody get picked off, just cut noise. Yeah, they were chill. And then like when they lost the spike here, they were very chill. The backup, they have the wall ready. Able they, they were just so fine to just wait out the harbor. They still had like 30 the seconds. Icy gets lurked on through that mid orb, and it's just there was no way for him to truly know someone was going to be behind them at that moment. Uh, Jeribus with the prime. The Thank you so He's much for the three months, the man. Appreciate the prime usage. Down. That is the win con with a comp like this. Nothing to spot that the orb went up. Nothing to uh, spot that the sport, time man. sound. You're right. That opened up the opportunity for FRZ to get those <laughs> Dude, on the list. Trent is out here farming this orb. And now he does not care about the slow side. at the moment. Doesn't care about the slow, just 
defending it twice so far. Oftentimes we'll see them cycle their harbor wall with their viper wall, so there's something constantly up, but this time it's not overlapping. It's a little bit further back. It seems like they want to try to dig oh. their heels in the sand a little bit further up. And that's the exactly two person old got three. Be enough, though. They still have if they do kill joy ult, leaf has kill joy ult, in the face so of two vandals, how far is can't ult. really do that. Yeah, so does leaf though, and I wonder Mm. It looks like he, he does want to invest it. Yeah, it looks like so FLZ is fairly on top that he can't really use now, this. I want to get a bomb plant top site and just try to get out into that belt area. Oh. That way I can hold the bomb, but a bit early of an alt here from G2. They can pick up guns, left, right? Can they pick up through. guns? It will allow them to flood a little bit more Not really. Maybe they're, they're, their own team died here. Looks like We've got 30 nice seconds. They managed to both go over towards site. Killjoy ult fl <laughs> flushes them out. Playing contain at this point. Understanding that there's really oh, they have to recommit to this. That's so smart. Yeah, that's I big. I mean, that's the round winning play, you would imagine, right? Leaf bit committed on this one, but does delay. 10 seconds again and it's not for him rgl should be able to get this, this guy just stays patient in heaven the whole time wait as to what's behind them my guys if rgl pops his oh. head up it didn't spot him frz still in such Jonah a must just be like how can i see no one here the drop is gonna get his position away he's still good to kill it frz how dude oh, lovely so quickly lovely from Jonah p man great yes. rounds an insane play from Jonah P, but also yep. the three players on that A site. Yeah, dude. How, how did these two? On. Yeah, these so two. Oh, wait. We get to, oh. This setup got them so much. Got them so, so much. I'm Irish Mamba with the Prime. Thank you so much, bro. Just even just smoking on Irish right Mamba. There. Thank you, thank you. Welcome into Slug Club, dude. Thanks for the Prime usage. Dropping there, landing those shots. It's sometimes not that reliable especially with a ghost we've seen that weapon betray many a player but clean, with that round be. that we weren't expecting six and three so two far, all -time line. money's at least looking good on well two of them now and this, time, the this orb is free this orb is so right free and another I feel like MIBR have to try this and good, stop that at one point. MIBR, can they, that can that comp even stop it? Actual gun rounds, Slow G2 Viper Molly the maybe? A pressure, grabs the orb and will go back to do a reclear mid. But they do it on purpose. They're willing to play a retake on A. They're so yeah. confident in the retake. Oh, they have such good utility for it too. I mean, you have Allen's ult, you have Icy's ult. It just causes so much chaos on the site. Yeah, that looked like, that looked like a pretty good shot. Reckoning invested. A recommendation to reposition. Now I see on the swing out. Uh oh. Spike still not planned. Uh oh. MIVR invested the all. Okay, up. gonna get a little bit Where weird. It's a free V5. Picks are nice at the moment. All is in. Hard Once for again, them to plant. And they gotta try and rescue the spike. Just a yeah, I tell you what. You get these rounds from MIBR, right? Where it doesn't look great. But they're so. I mean, on the facility looks great because of numbers, but it's still like a, still like a situation where like the spikes down, they never panic. Like it's similar to it's similar to the B round we saw just on A. They're just calm with it. They even dropped the ult. They dropped the ult so they could take all of the jewels. Bro, this is so nice. Like most most people would look at that and just say that's a really bad play, but this was a sick round from them. Drop the ult so they can actually take all of the jewels over towards here so they can get a plant. They are very calm in these situations that most teams wouldn't be that calm with. proved it right here. He's 10 and 5 on Sage right now. He's owning. Look at this. From the I mean, that was an absolute shot. That was an absolute shot. That was... Okay. This is a... That's it. That is such a round, bro. That's gonna call. <laughs> that is such a round. Okay, that was really nice as well. But I still, still stick away. with my point. Yeah. I still liked how chill You're they were so on this. this map too, that is so a hero really round, though. That the timings that MIBR have taken, specifically with that mid lurk play from FRZ, and now the entire team actually getting through on that A site. They were all pushed up and holding angles that they know G2 like to walk back into mm -hmm. off of a certain These players are frying this year on Icebox. Yeah. Dude, it's literally because so Lil Bro, right? Also you got, because normally you go in and you plant, but now you, you, now you got a dude to do the first wave of plant for you. You got a guy that you send in, he tanks all the util, and then you can go in do a safer plant with a wall. But a lot of times you're not dying for planting. You can kind of just frag out. 
This feels like you got a wolf to play with a lot of the time. We saw flashes of in kickoff. Cool. Yeah. And who's I mean to be honest, who's kind of been absent. Your your whole stage, duties on just right on attack time. just yeah, got exactly. I mean this is a must win I mean, game. It's, it's just a lot safer now. Little There's bro so is literally tanking all this, of it. But we've seen Every time we've watched him, right? He's tanking he's tanking the uh mosh pit. Elimination on the line. They've got to find a way to win this one out if they want to keep hopes of a playoff bid alive. And I think for G2, the tough ask is how do you deal with all the utility that MIBR's composition has? Because a lot of the times G2 play this map, it's against a, a team composition that they have a duelist or they have limited utility. But now they're playing against a team composition. Kind of like that MIBR. I mean, this, this would have punished the orb, I think. It would have been so close. Seeing them struggle Pretty sure that would have punished the orb. So at least they're doing that on this one. Pretty Didn't want MIBR to farm it up. Uh, sorry, G2 to up farm mid. it up. Or down mid, excuse me. Leaf took the space down too. Recon goes over They're towards B. It hits nothing. I, I, I don't blame them for stacking now B either what? because every other eco round, G2 has played heavy A. So <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised either that you would think that MIBR would go back to B for the next eco, but they don't care. They just stick into the game plan. Leaf put in a fight that, I mean, he really very little chance of winning. RGL now understanding where the rest of the pressure is coming from. Just a little throwing of the shoulder to confirm. Oh, the these guys, these guys are on it now. today, man. This is looking like kickoff space. MIBR. You're doubling up here, Doug. Too. Yeah, I mean potentially tripling up. JCZ is not far. I'm lacking everything oh. I see. That's a big opener, but those two should secure things. Dude, our team's crispy Dude, he's today. Crispy right now. He's looking like Aspas the other day. Yeah. In the back sight. That was clean. <laughs> nice round. Only one gun rebuy. Then Dude, money is going to get really good after and... this. It's still early, to FRC be honest. That really well, still early to get a big round like this for your econ. Or, 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 sorry, RGL played that really well. Jiggling for info after you got that first kill in mid. And then doubling up with that far Z and just baiting for him. Yeah. It worked so well. Small things like that go a long way for teams. I think New yeah, Age of Metal will like be more complicated with a different map pool. Gecko would still kind of dominate. Like, so people are talking about Fracture a lot, right? Gecko mm -hmm. is going to be a must pick on that map, you would imagine. And, a lot of retake. I, I, it's I a lot of take MIBR, this map. Take this map control, like, go it back. Like, it's a. I don't think it changes too much. I think Gecko would just be a must pick. A great start. But anything for this, we have the ult. Okay, nicely done. And while this is going on, though, FRZ off of all of that takes kitchen control, and that's what causes this drone to come out. And I think the drone doesn't clear him out. Yeah, but they have to understand it's weak, right? Yeah, they know. I see just invested in beautiful. It's gonna be the freest kill of his life. He's accepted defeat completely. Yeah, what else do you do? But off of this, MIBR again are starting to take some space. I see should have been able to pick the ult back oh. up, so Thrash, depending on how late the round goes, will make another appearance. RGL is really far up. What an awkward spot to be in. He's stuck right now. Yeah, he's trapped. Yeah, he oh. pull a miracle and that gecko is gonna <laughs> that Gecko will go through him, so he tries to instantly take a jewel. That's all that'll be for now. Mazine and Arzine. Ooh, that's a nice reply on this one. We've got to look over towards here. Money is crazy low, and all they have to do is rebuy two armors. Big round. Um, everyone's money is good. Everyone's money is very good right now. That's actually true, yo. He's so That's actually true. taking these fights that you would see a Jet normally taking. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the experience that he's had before playing the duelist role in general, but he makes it look so good. And then it is, it is a great map. to jiggle that right. yellow person on Snowman, right? When he's at Snowman and he jiggles the person at yellow, it's perfect. Small things like that so he doesn't get insta headshotted and then just Even if you hit someone with a fish and go kill him, you can pick it up. Yeah, it's situation so well. Um, yeah, you see why they wanted him on the sun. Strong all. I, I get it. Every time I see it, it makes so much sense. Strong, strong all. He seems so. so I'm saying that all and fracture as well. Take a bit of map control. Go somewhere else. Take some map control. Take some map control and then sight hit. You were talking about a couple of like gecko around. might even be like a hundred percent pick rate on fracture if it stays at this level. Actually, like to reflood mid. Exactly, and that's why you see this reclear of the drone coming out. Enemy tag. And also, when you do early wall like that, 
if if a team is scared, if they're defaulted outside of A, they're more than likely going to use utility to re-clear the area right. out. And that can also be a cue for you to get into just off of that. So, G2 Dude, have you cannot pick that one up, surely. Like Whoa. That's all the damage he took? Fair play. I see getting peppered through that wall manages to stay alive, takes a little bit of damage, but all the warning shots. Yeah, everyone everyone's delivered. money's so good, it's just a, it's a buy rounds, and then no matter so what, next is a buy round. So. It's not like the craziest right? impactful they round right now. Utility to clear space that they would normally have for free. These rounds are pretty rare, to be honest. That's far as he's doing a great job right now, throwing utility towards his A side of the map. And this might be Four a people to be walk to through, I see. I see knows. There's a lot of firepower on their side, but crossfire with Jonah P could be perfect. Damn, Jonah, please. Jonah P has played it so well. But can they hold? Leaf joining in on a trend not far off. Valon there too. What the? And who else but Leaf to hold the line? Meanwhile, through all of this, Jonah P's been playing. If Ozzy gets his ult on this one, I'm not expecting it. Looking. Ooh. That gives him some space. Does the fish ult become a little bit more tempting? Hopefully not, but... It's planted for JZZ right here. Ah, it's so, so unlucky. And yeah, it's not a good plan for this guy anymore. Whoa, that was close. Really nice try. Honestly, a really nice try in the 2v4. Alright, give me the leaf shots, man. Let's see what leaf was doing this round. And no one was there quick enough to actually get that trade, so how do you hit those shots? It would have been perfect, actually. Get a time out. Bigger chance to win the round. Jonah P with the heads up awareness here, though, to pop out of that viper all and take that early pick in the mid and then molly them off on. Oh, that was nice. Is what allowed leaf to get those trades. Off of icy uh, that so Georgie it's, boy, it's how we really doing, well mate? Up, thank you, thank you for the tier one. On thank you, bro. Side. They're so astute. Yeah. They're comfortable on the map. They're comfortable on the tap. We talked about it. The desk. How do I feel about Gecko being meta? If I feel, I'm, I'm in for it, dude. I like it. For them for a it's a fun agent if you're a coach you or you're someone that likes to come up with strats. Like it's a, it's a heavy lineup agent. Great. Is what's keeping this map so close? Like all three abilities line up. The ult's really strong, so. And the ult is, and the, <laughs> the ult's really strong, and the agent's out. good at Regardless, no getting map here. control. That's you can try and get loads of, How's your lip reading? loads of uh, orbs. I couldn't even see him. <laughs> I wonder. They prefer yeah, icebox yeah, yeah, gameplay I'm or pearl really gameplay. Sure. Like um, so Wait, we MIBR talk about been a lot of the old pearl or makes sense new pearl? Yeah. It's kind of like you want to walk up in certain areas, whether it's close pearl would be was the worst thing ever. Explode with the KO dagger and the sage wall coming up. To isolate new pal? Oh, new pals. New pals. Yeah, new pals pretty good. To be honest. I don't mind new pal at all. I was enjoying watching pal. Like and it would be a pretty good meta right now. No, None of the Harbor Viper because of the fixed B. And Sage is gone. I think pal would be pretty fun to watch right now. I mean, no one from G2 is really there to spot any of that utility, so of course they're not going to over-rotate. And the problem is MIBR don't know that. They didn't send bodies up to far confirm, enough yeah. to confirm. The knife just landed back yellow and B a couple of seconds ago, and there was no movement. Leaf has ult, so, and we go for the classic fish ult. Everyone's G2. doing this pathing. Three of them are here. Leaf has his ult. Valen did not get seen by the thrash. Be a ton of I mean, they they him. can just yeah, hold this MIBR, all. Dude, the the pop is so strong. The pop is so so strong. All up into flash flash. Oh, he spotted one. The timing not going his way. Just so. Oh boy. Oh, it's a tough jump spot. And he does it again. <laughs> Maniac with a triple swing. Oh, he managed to isolate a 1v1. Hey, he gave himself a nice try here. It, but the firepower on the other side was ultimately too much. We're tied at five. Again, it was... It was what I... It's, it's exactly what I said. It's kind of that, like, slow contact play. And then they explode with the utility. And Valen just getting caught out there. Nobody could shoot that Gecko Flash from JZZ. You know, it's tough too. There is like that if you're using all this utility to burst out onto site after you've contacted, you just get so much more value out of it. 
Whereas if you're having to use it for contested space early on, I right, lost rounds and G2's buy if they lost this wouldn't be great. So much more difficult. Yeah. Recon goes so in, plays all of A, Harbor gets all heavy rotators, they start to make sound as well. Killjoy can just cover all of this. And we should probably see a four person stack on B by the time they want to try plant. And it seems like they might be able to do it again, but this time they've got Leaf Salt on the other side, Balance Alt. But this timing window that two pass and fast behind could be the difference maker. Okay, that's like clear enough. Fight snowman once again. Oh, actually wrapping sight. It's a beautiful idea off of the wall. They flash on the other Whoa, side. Whoa, everyone's run. dead on this no, one. Punch back. Wait, they put all into it in 2v4. Hey, this thing fell apart for Wait, it was 2v5. So quickly. Is it a 2v5 or 2v4? 2v4. What can FRC do here? Yeah, in the face of three. Yeah, not, not too sure about that all. G2 in this round did a really hey, good Leaf job. Is of playing that backside area and great. having somebody on top of site playing anti pretty much in that little tunnel area that connects the kitchen that's why this rap isn't successful right there icy getting a free kill Mazin again just relying too heavily on these ko flashes run. to get maximum value but g2 are ready for these type of pushes they understand that when it comes to the b side of the map mibr's game plan is to try to disrupt their delay but <laughs> yeah. like that, pretty sure he's not happy with the ult there as well, maybe. Maybe might have been someone else in terms of some of the flash stuff that they could have done. So not entirely sure. I think they wanted a flash for this. Right, I guess the combo should be here. They're sending it there. Two things they could be mad at here, really. The ult usage and the flashes. we saw in the previous round or the one before that. The slower blows up, the knife takes a while, but finally it lands back yellow. And you're seeing everyone on the mini map for G2 shift off the of A right now. Besides, a, besides Leaf, because a deep dart was made and it didn't connect on anybody. So and they, they have, have the info. And they have the KJ utility to confirm. They can play this. Actually, very similarly. That was the same flash we saw in the previous round. This time the pit invested. Oh, just barely. Getting it down. And again, the cascade of ultimates. Just continue to wreak havoc on the Ooh, site. Oh, it's a nice... Oh, Once everything gets invested. Pushing forward, taking space. Yeah, and somehow... FLZ's gonna have to completely own this. How much work can they do? RGL with two. Now FRZ I thought he was wrapping around the world. Oh, it's just done. Hold it. Yeah, maybe because the palm wasn't setup. good for it. Nice. Hey, FRZ lovely recovery from G2. <laughs> around the mid-round, it was looking pretty good for MIBR. Good from Trent as well to open things up on that retake. Connecting on the leader of MIBR in terms of score at least shutting out wingman yeah he just tanks everything dude the chaos of the retail he takes in. like 50 percent from the util right nice he's stepping up stepping up and stepping forward right when the team needed him to it was him taking that space fighting for back yellow that really allowed g2 to get so much more comfortable there so a 7-5 half in favor of g2 we're gonna throw it down to the desk to break down the first half geek heavy take it away well, I mean, it looks like MIBR is online, and I gotta ask you guys, like, how's this comp working out for MIBR? I mean, great so far. Yeah, I yeah it looks good. I'm the number of things that they've done. Yeah, I think that, honestly, this could have either been a 6-6 or MIBR possibly being up had they just played some of these B post plants differently. They were so <laughs> committed to trying to push back Snowman, but early on, they were having some really big individual plays too uh -huh. that were taking them over the finish line. Yeah. RGL with his 3K, Artzun with the ace. I like what I'm seeing so far. This was a good round on B where they were, the wingman went down. And Elizabeth, the not a chance. The stage while I've retrieved the spot. Not a chance This was one of the that. good B rounds, but yeah, overall still satisfied with this half from MIBR. I think especially early when some of those gecko plants failed, they had many layers where there was constant, uh, you know, secondary approaches, right? Where they're going flash, where they put the sage wall down or something like that to recover the spike and put it back down. But where it was falling flat for me was everything else. Yes, Artson was having a fantastic yeah. game, but in terms of like them, I don't know, man. They were doing stuff like that we know does not work on Icebox since 2021. I'm obsessed with that year, but since 2021, we know that mid splits don't work. We know that pushing back into Snowman doesn't work most of the time. And yet, over and over, they're flashing through that uh, Viper wall that they're throwing. They're putting Did the they win a single down, post point where they did the deep wall? Deep no, the they didn't have much success yes, over towards B, really. Uh, apart from when they got the early pick. They have low success rate, and they have low success rate here again. Yeah, honestly, I just gotta, but, but it's, what, what's interesting is I feel like 
we kind of predicted this earlier that we were going to see Gecko come online for MIBR, you know, and I mean, Wyatt, you're, you're a, the one who brought this up. More of a hope and a prayer than a prediction, but I, <laughs> I still have a lot of hope, actually, in Absolutely. MIBR. This is yeah. going to be a competitive game on the second half. Their comp is great on the retake. There's no room to overcook here. All right, well, let's get the second half underway. Back to our casters. A 7-5 half, and now MIBR will have to figure out how they want to approach the defensive side if they want to keep this thing competitive. Yeah, it's a bang at They, I mean, both teams have looked really good, but G2 were able to do those right last there. couple things well to keep this thing up, including winning four of the last five to close out the half. Yeah. Which they needed to do. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a lot of early presence uh -oh. here. They canceled this they pretty well, though. One. Knife goes over towards A, so you can oh, get a heavier so rotate going in from a so lot of what's going down. The and they get close so that they can drone yellow. Oh, if this is their actual this. default, I like they it. Out the wall. They still have a lot of space this too. heavy force B. This is just really good from G2 to bait out all this mm -hmm. utility. Yeah, I like what? this a lot. 30 seconds of the round. Yeah. And then they just cut noise here. This is where you'd like to see. Ah, I love how G2 played this map. Second dagger. I just think it's so oh, good. Maybe. maybe throw a lineup that lands around this B area. Find out if they're still there. And the silence is introducing so much doubt. Again, uh, the it'll miss in terms of the harbor. I don't think the harbor really so makes it, but I, I think it's the gecko. Um, I think I just love gecko. Over. Start to see some of the panels of the wall get cleared out. They're pushing into a lot of MIBR members here. The They're extra smokes the does help it. Out the dizzy, Covers up not having any other flash she can pop. JCC and FRZ still trying to hold the slide Wait, down. Leaf's, Leaf the might have owned this round. Is. Someone's on top of it. Problem is he hears the turret, but I'm pretty sure he can crouch this. And Oh, did he see him? Wait, why are they going one by one through the wall? Nice. Oh, Leaf has been so good. As I say that, I cursed him. I cursed them. Is he see with low bro to the, the fuse? Been taking a long time, so all the onuses on MIBR, they have to take the fight or stick to the defuse. RGL's gonna get the shots. Yeah, and low bro creates the pressure. MIBR so he has to swing. Six. I mean, good play from MIBR to not take the bait on that cut of noise. Yeah. That G2 did after baiting out all the utility, and honestly, I thought it got really. All right, let's go to pistol each. A lot of players just running out of that viper wall individually, one by one, from MIBR. They kind of got blessed that the trades went there, went in their favor. I mean, this kill. Yeah, I thought this was all dumb, and they all started pushing the wall one by one. I thought that was done. A good reason to be hyped. If you're the coach of MIBR Stinger. and potentially the players as well. Hero Stinger because oh, they planted. Yeah, the I kind of like it, especially when if this is their common buy, it means you can punish this mission a little bit. One away from the ult. But you're right though, with a bulldog there by himself, that could have been oh. disastrous. Uh, either way though, not the case. And of course, he's greeted. He's gifted with a kill. Jay-Z has ult already too. I was off of getting that orb and now the kill. On a balance opens things up so much. Now you imagine they try to get through this round as cleanly as they can so they can use it in the next. Oh. And that's exactly what they Dude. do. So we're gonna we, need to get in two really interesting opportunity here for another crazy snowball yeah. to take off because you saw MIBR got through that very cleanly. They I think they the guy's got all of his kills in his last, they have the last couple of line, rounds. And they have what four bulldogs? <laughs> <laughs> So all of a sudden, because of the way the the game is kind of playing right now, because yeah, there was the some nice shots there, though. Well, there's this insane opportunity. <laughs> the way that looks so satisfying. That was sick. Bonus. Okay. The bonus is, really the bonus is the decent. The, the bonus is decent. Yeah, they got the all here as well. Allen two away from Harbor. On light armor, going up against three bulldogs and all this utility, damage utility too. Ko Molly, Gecko Molly, Viper Mollies. The Just timing so of the recon going in and the flash is so nice. So much like stuff to shoot. Out of G2's book on how they play the A site. Double initiator and a controller. In this case, it's the Sage. I know it's early, but this round has the potential to have drastic impacts on how the rest of this map plays out. The opener going their way. Oh, oh big play. Well. Drone's going to spot him though, right? Oh, his here. teammate shot the it drone early. And RGL. And RGL's kind of leaving. Yeah, RGL yeah, so did incredible. Does it reach? Oh. 
He can pop his mollies. He's still kind of strong here. Yeah, it's, it feels like you're always good to get one here. Especially with this gecko comp. I don't know, man. I feel like you're always good for one. Can they upgrade any weapons? Artina is nothing but a stinger. Look at the mini map. You see JZZ on the flank. Does he decide to try to take a timing peek or does he just commit the ult outright? Can't really oh, commit the ult, can he? Trent saw him. Trent saw him for sure here. Crosshair trained on the position. They're taking their time with this one. Now Wait. It it feels Got late. two on site. I see the great. They do get the Somewhere gun upgrade. No wall on this one. As in Sage Wall. You gotta take it if you want to have a shot at this. JCC's in 1v2. Yeah, lovely reposition for them. Yeah, and with like Wingman a invested to check this and get him out, it's a done round. Because maybe with so Wingman to defuse here, he could have won this one. G2, yeah. Um, they get their, Edmundo, they get thanks for the seven months, man. Appreciate the prime. And Poseidon like the third, thank you for the prime as well, mate. Yeah, and, I mean, I understood what their game plan was, right? They didn't. They wanted to play the numbers game, right? They had a flank in there. Hold on. One enemy remains. At least they're pretty calm, but yeah, MIBR had had honestly they tried to play it too fundamentally sound. They tried to play the numbers game too Yeah, well I just think that maybe happy that of all players on this G2 he wanted to all I would have stuck with the, the team a little bit. That he needed to make a play and go huge for his team. I don't know. I, I think because they used the wall the early, huge for that they wanted to flank. But honestly, fish and wall is like a scary thing. Once the wall goes up with the fish, like we we'll, have to shoot the fish, the, the wall gets fortified, and then you kind of instantly got to defuse. Should be a strong combo if you time it well. A little bit of space. Look at how far up Leaf is. I mean, he's a duelist. Yep. <laughs> he plays like one. What do they have to try to get back into this? Wingman, Dizzy, and both of them cleared, yeah. But they still get the kills. Oh. Just like that, as soon as they get oh. the kills, as soon as Whoa. they get the openers, they're stunned. Damn, bro, it's so many, and they got the two most important kills. Yeah, the 2v4. Dude, Icy had some painful first three rounds. From the second round onwards, like 3-4. No, 2-3-4, I'm pretty sure. But the recovery from him right now is pretty solid. Like, he's actually winning. He's kind of responsible for three rounds in my eyes. Um, although they didn't lose the second round. So, he's kind of lost them two rounds, but I think he's won them two rounds. So I think he's even. nice to see him have some confidence and smiling on the stage and i feel like for his teammates as well seeing him in that state it should motivate them too yeah what a round forcing them back to eco as well swing. it's a big round to win how the last couple of rounds have gone mvr's economy is kind of in the bin yeah I, the, the impact of that is actually insane I that's probably them taking the map a lot easier now round for round Finally, a little bit of separation from G2 off of that crazy clutch from a couple rounds ago. She's do such a good job with their harbor utility, man. There was a cascade, a viper wall up, oh. and a harbor wall up all at the same time to section off wow. the site, take it in Yeah, this was nice, just in layers. And then go forward. Honestly, this is ah, and it's just an easy plant after he's tanked all the like, util. This isn't into a crazy gun round. They do the fundamentals so well. And on the opposite side, MIBR just seems like they can't really delay this bomb plant on B. They don't have the Viper usually defaulted there or the KJ Mollies to be doing so. MIBR with the little weaponry that they do have <laughs> are going to have to try to snatch this round back. Whoa, 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 whoa hold like up. G2 will relent. But 2v2 though, Spike's been going for a little while. I... Well, they may have a shot at this. Get it he got <gasps> oh, my gosh. oh my god, what? dude. What a... What? This might be one of the most insane spray traps. <laughs> yeah, that, that actually has potential to be I mean, that was a double swing. incredible. See, the timing looked pretty good on the double swing. <laughs> I mean, we saw it happen. We didn't see it from his POV. Uh, Cast Spirit, thank you so much, man. This was crazy. Hmm. Not Prius missing another one v two. That's for sure. I mean, right here. Ooh, that's nice. 
That is I nice. Mean, to be fair, it's a 2v2. This is just another crazy game. And honestly, he gets, in uh, those moments, MIBR will first He gets a pass on that one. It's so fun. But yeah. that clutch moment keeps them in this map. Oh, yeah. Monster on the loose. G2 wanting to go Wait, this has been a pretty fun icebox. This map's never fun. All the site with the thrash. They got rid of all the utility from the Killjoy. You know what's crazy to me? What's that? I actually had Gecko all two rounds ago. <laughs> Just used it again. They do such a good job of dealing with all of that. I'm trying to find oh my god, he did great though. Using his. And, and so far, the attempted retake has been successful. But how much more can they find? Leading from the front. Oh, man. oh not again. It's a double again. They got to get this kill. So good this I'm whole... Zin just delaying to save his team. That was lovely on this. And they go forward. You'd expect him to be close, right? Nope. Trend on the first. You start to see the defuse go through. JCC Dude, this kid. holds the line once more. Yeah, this kid. Back to this back. This has been so impressive from MIBR, man. <laughs> Honestly, both teams are playing a really good Valorant right now. Yeah, it's it's, even, it's even, a great again, game at the moment. Getting almost max value with all of these scenarios. Valorant did a great job to even the numbers there, but Mazin was the factor in this retake. Protecting his two teammates that were under the threshold yeah. and delaying, not dying, doing the pop flash to allow his team the time to just come out of that ult and ultimately have JZZ just clutch it out for them again. With another kind of similar up down spray, but awesome down to an eco 9 9. Got some, I mean, there's a lot of big ults at the moment. Main one at the moment is probably just res, but I don't think Trent would use his ult to counter the res. We'll see. Depends on the situation. Look at this from MIBR three person push out. There's no alarm bot behind. Wait, where's the alarm bot? Leaf still has the alarm bot. They almost didn't have to shoot it, but... Wait, why did they, they shoot it? They wanted anyway. to go mid? I mean, honestly, they're just expecting the alarm bot here. I'm not even mad at them for shooting it, because they want to go middle, because they think that the alarm bot's going to be behind B. So why would it not be behind B? It's just tough. Oh. Now you've got the soul bullet you're going to have to deal with as well. It's tagging up a couple of members. Can Jonah P find value here? Gets one kill. Checks for the second that doesn't arrive, but the gun has been upgraded. And now with that, signs of life for the attacking side. Again. This guy can't feel confident to ever put his ult down with Jonah P being here. Bro, look at how good Jonah P is playing this round. This nice round from G2. Yeah, and I feel a little bit bad for MIBR because they decided to push aggro and then they were just so... How to take back that yeah, it, it's like they almost didn't know what to do with that. The middle of the map. Just being in spawn. Jonah P and Lee played it really, really Jonah well. P played it incredibly well. Jonah was, was great. It's concerning too, is that it, it's a bit weird for MIBR to go so aggro against the eco though, I will say that much. As much as like the strat worked out pretty well, like they're over towards here, the over, overall yeah, thing of just no pushing on an eco just feels really, out as well. yeah. really off. Hopefully Bazooka can instill those retake fundamentals and stuff like that for if this happens again because so far i feel like g2 have gotten a lot of value in mid and you know we saw jonah p do that insta mid lurk when they did the a hit this time leaf and jonah p going through the mid orb towards that kitchen area just holding that space they, didn't, they don't even have to do much yep. they just listen for the rotations and just be a thorn in the side or the back of mibr and it worked perfectly. It was honestly the, the, the perfect strat for the moment. Yeah, and honestly, this timeout might Stealing be just to not overcomplicate it. Of, when, when we've gone on to like these normal rounds and, and they're just playing, like this, they're just playing pretty chill of just like delay, delay one, fight the other. Mentally prepare for the they look good. I don't think they need to round. do this mad I don't stuff. Think you're gonna see anything too crazy on this eco round from MIBR. This isn't the main reason for the timeout. It's for the, it's Have for the I ever had rough members. moments during practice win. of a coach? Of course, bro. So things go smoothly. G2 should be up 11-9 after this round. Right, I coached a team that we had no IGL. Four alts. Yeah, it was it was more when we didn't have rough moments. When we had a good day of practice, I was like, damn, yeah. <clears throat> this this month's great. Lined up to try to take that AOR, but mm -hmm. G2, good. too many members here. And wise of MIBR to back up. FRZ is taking a lot of space mid, and he's going to get bored because the turret's so deep. 
Trent is holding the flank though. Stop lying. Yampy. You tell it you're telling me that every day of prac was just bliss. Never had to tell anyone off. Never had to shout. FRZ tried Never got angry. You assumed there was chaos on the site that would serve as a distraction, but it was just too much. Now, how you do MIBR attempt, attempt this retake? Leaf investing his ult, trying to secure the round. There's a lot of ults committed in this round from G2. Yeah, surprising amount. But to be honest, Leaf up top. Oh, <laughs> tragic timing. Ultimately, will fall. Mazine and JCC. Okay, one of the, one of the first. Um, Probably the cleanest eco one we've seen. We've seen some mad like uh, low buy rounds. It's probably the cleanest one we've seen. A lot of ults invested for them. Back of the head assassination styles. Valen falls. Mazinga got what he wanted at the end there. And it's tough with, with rounds like this. It's like, do I invest the ults? Do I not? Because yeah. At the end of the day, a round win is a round win. It's really important. And it was wonderful. Always, that's if true. You that is true. Round, I mean, that's, that's, you won yeah. Cypher. That's like wonderful. <laughs> selling, the, selling the map. Yeah. So I'm not against using yeah, ults yeah. to win rounds. Imi <laughs> says every day. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. It. Maybe a little bit too many, but you know, whatever. Now they're they got the round one way. round away from match point. Right. Valen's already close to another harbor all he's been having. Okay, 11 9, and we got no money here. No, no money. But we got three ult. Dude, the ult diff is so big here. MIBR should be winning this round. Let's see how they play it. Knife goes deep over towards B, hits one. Do they heavier lean over towards A? At the moment, it's fight B, retake A. Sage committed with the res over towards B, res and wall. not comboing too many of them. Yeah. They can really put themselves in a good spot to bring a comeback and potentially win the match. It almost becomes like a, a mini game of how many can you get away with not investing while still winning the rounds. There's the first. What well, the hell is this ult? That is both the KOL not and the great. Spin. That's better and though. Third. Oh, and they get a free kill on the icy. I mean, they've thrown everything into this. Balan's gonna stay, try to get as many as he can. What the? Bro, this ult is the worst thing I've ever seen, man. Balan's done insane. What the hell is that ult? That stage wall's full up. Oh, it's not enough. I believe he got half. FRZ still with so much to do, and now the drone in his face. Waiting for the swing, waiting for the challenge, and it just never comes. Fred's fancy crew tops him that round. That's the worst possible scenario if you're in my VR. And again, it just seemed like there was confusion. Oh, a late bro. Viper pick coming out and then dropping it way too early. The, the KJ out wasn't through yet. This is a play that I feel like a lot of ranked players make a mistake of doing. They rush the site too early before the KJ Look at that. really goes off. I mean, <laughs> it's just a free kill on Valen if they just... Do. Hey, did get the second and the third corners. kill was pretty good, though. I'll give him that. And this is so uncharacteristic of MIBR. Like we were talking about, we like to, yeah, a team that thrives off of doing everything yeah, the by the book. <laughs> okay. Three chances, bro. Is that his reaction to seeing the ult? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he had Holy, that was one of the worst Viper ults I've seen for a long, long time, man. He meant to do the Zasha ult, oh, yeah, but, <laughs> but he ended up doing it like in this box. It had no spread on site. Got to keep an eye on Jonah P uh, Trent, sorry. Trent breaks the turret behind him and he insta joins back and he has a shock and a recon. Yeah, he can just go heaven and it's a good bomb for him. And constantly, because he broke the turret, this guy can't get him involved and he's just holding behind. Trent did pretty sick in this. And yeah, honestly, it was lost after the last round, man. Yeah, and then gets involved with the recon. Uh, silent MVP on this round was Trent for sure, did great. Um, man, that round before really cost him. Really, really cost him. Okay, nicely done from G2. Um, but again, I think it should it should be they get this map. 